Hello student, today I will discuss about the chapter real numbers. About the chapter real numbers. We have already discussed in earlier classes, in class 9 B, which is number system. The number system is a way to represent number. There are various types of numbers in mathematics. There are many types of numbers defined in mathematics. That is first natural number. It is also known as counting number. It is denoted by capital N and defined by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on plus infinity. Second numbers that is whole numbers. It is represented by capital W. It is defined by 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Third numbers integers. It is represented by capital I or capital J and defined by 0, plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 4 and so on. Fourth number is a rational number which is defined by Q, which is denoted by Q and defined by P by Q where Q not equal to 0 and P, Q are integers. That is P, Q are elements of Z. Fifth number that is irrational number, it is denoted by Q dash and defined by X such that X not equal to Q by Q, Q not equal to 0, P, Q R, and P, S. That is a number which is not rational is called irrational numbers. Six numbers that is real numbers, real numbers is denoted by capital R and defined by union of rational and irrational number. In other words, we can say that that is set of all rational and irrational number is called real numbers. In next order of number is defined as that is n subset of w, w subset of z, z subset of q, q subset of r. It means that whole numbers contains natural numbers, integer contains whole numbers, rational contains integer and real contains rational number. Here this symbol that is this denotes the subject or contains. In other words we can understand the order of numbers through the circle which is shown in blackboard. That is a first circle represents natural number, a second circle represents whole numbers, third circle represents integer, fourth circle represents rational number and fifth circle represents real numbers. That is whole numbers contain natural numbers, integer contains whole numbers, rational contains integers and real contains rational number. R contains all the numbers that is natural, holes, integer, rational. Next topic of chapter first that is real number is fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Fundamental theorem of arithmetic. First you know what is composite number. A number which has more than two factors is called composite number. Smallest composite number is four. Second, prime numbers, a number which have only two factors, that is one and itself, is called prime numbers. Smallest prime number is two. Statement of fundamental theorem of arithmetic, which is defined as every composite number can be expressed as that is factorized as a product of primes. And this factorization is unique. Unique means only one way we can factorize any composite number. For example, 30 is equal to 2 into 3 into 5. That is where 2, 3 and 5 are prime numbers and 30 expressed as product of prime which is shown. We have already studied in previous classes that is a CFR and ACM of any two positive numbers. In notes here, for any two positive integers A and B, we have a CF of AB into a CF of AB is equal to A into B. A CF of any two positive integers always divide their LCM. That is, a CF of any two integers always divide their LCM. Example, find the CF and LCM of 
3 and 36 and 54 and verify that SCF into LCM is equal to product of two numbers. Here, using factorization method to find the SCF and LCM of 54 and 36. Prime factorization of 54 is 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 and 336 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 7. Here, 2 common. So, SCF of 54 and 36 is equal to 2 into 3 that is 6 and LCM of 54 and 3 and 36 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 7 that is 3024. Verification of this that is SCF of AB and LCM of AB is equal to A into B. Here SCF into LCM is equal to 1. 18,144 and product of number that is 336 and 54 is also 18,144. So, above two equations verify that SCF and LCM are 22 numbers is product of numbers.